Welcome in this video created by NICE Nursing Academy. Let us understand about therapeutic environment. The environment which helps an early recovery of a patient is known as therapeutic environment. Let us discuss about characteristics of a therapeutic environment. 1. It should be calm, cool and comfortable. 2. There should be proper cleanliness. 3. This should be free from disease producing microorganisms. 4. This should be well ventilated and well lighted. 5. Environment should be free from noise, because noise produces irritability, restlessness, and fatigue. It also interferes with sleep. 6. There should be adequate temperature and humidity. A room temperature from 68 to 72 degree Fahrenheit, or 20 to 22 degree Celsius, is considered comfortable. Humidity should be about 40% to 60%. 7. Purity of air. Environment should be free from dust. 8. Elimination of unpleasant odors, good ventilation, cleanliness and proper disposal of excreta are necessary to eliminate unpleasant odors. 9. There should be provision of safe water supply and disposal of excreta. 10. Aesthetic factors, the factors which helps in making environment attractive. The color of ward should be attractive, flower vase. Pictures and curtains should add to give pleasant outlook. Aesthetic considerations should include freedom from unpleasant sight, bedbands, and urinals, soiled dressing and used linen, etc. The patients who are very ill with vomiting, or those who have painful appearance to others, should be put in a separate room. 11. Environment should be free from danger or injuries. A. Freedom from mechanical injury. Mechanical injuries may be caused by machines or by falls. This can be prevented by using rails or guards on beds and windows, by keeping floors dry to prevent slipping and by holding the stretchers and wheelchairs properly while transferring patient. B. Freedom from thermal injury. This can be prevented by reporting and repairing defective electrical equipment. Or safeguarding inflammable liquids and gases and having fire extinguishers. C. Freedom from chemical injury. This can be prevented by keeping the chemicals in separate cupboards under lock and key. D. Freedom from bacteriologic injury. Environment should be free from bacteria and dirt. E. Freedom from allergy. Environment should be free from dust. Patients should be tested for allergic reaction before an agent is applied. F. Freedom from insects, animals and pests. Free from rate, fillies, mosquito and cockroaches. Thank you for watching. Subscribe channel and keep watching more videos.